Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner and our hard mode series where we are attempting to meet the challenges and last time out we failed at meeting the challenges, just saying. So we are picking up where we left off. Uh, I think we refueled ourselves. Everything looks full, yep. We are off to recover in National Transstar 4078. Now we said that at the start of the last episode. And we ended up having to recover our Pacific P-16 from a hole. And we attempted manual recovery with two vehicles, and it's very unsuccessful. So hopefully this time, we're going to be just fine. After we've got the, uh, the Transstar out, I'm not certain what our next move will be because the Fleet Star is stuck somewhere I really don't like having it. Why do we grind into such a hole? These are supposed to be good tyres, come on. Yeah, the Fleet Star's somewhere we don't want it. And we're going to have to get that back. At least to a delivery point. I may try and use that to do the repair job on GMC that's down the south here. But then again, we still then have to get back to a more workable location after that. It would be easy to take the Fleet Star into Island Lake from down here. But for Island Lake, it'll want more upgrades. And we can't afford upgrades. It want new tyres. And we would probably better off, be better off getting the White Western Star, covering that, and doing things that way. So, not so. Now, I also think with the White Western Star, what am I going to need to do the full recovery on that, aren't I? And if I do a recovery on the GMC, there may not be enough parts left to do the recovery on the White Western. So I may even need to go back into Black River and get whatever was left in the... what I call the recovery trailer that we used there and wasted on the Kodiak. Let's go get them bits and try and bring through. Again, added a lot of extra work with my poor planning. So we have repair, and I want to repair. Oh, the next one, repair it. Oh, I'm out of repair parts. Oh, my fuel. Nope, I am out of. Right, repair parts. Oh dear. Right. This has proper pooped on my plan. Proper pooped on my plan. Okay. Do I just drag it? Better just drag it. It's going to get stuck all the time. Come on. I'm not paying eight grand for an instant recovery for a 
truck that I might not use. It's bad enough to have paid like two and a half grand to fix it once it's in, in the garage. Once we've got a few more extra trucks, I am definitely going to try and I'll, I'll fiddle about on a different save and I'll, I'll figure out what's a good truck to turn into a recovery truck and we'll just put, put a heavy winch on it and uh, you know all the, all the repair parts and the fuel tank and stuff and See if we can even put a crane on something and carry all that. Give it a wiggle. We'll find traction. There we go. Try and get up on the ridges from where you've already moved them up. came down here earlier and churned this up so it's already pretty flat. See this broken riggedy ass hole. <laughs> Again, this would be another truck, if you do try to do achievements, uh, drag this up without repairing it, drag it all the way up and drag it into the next map, put it in your garage, this would be pretty easy to do. Because we had a recovery truck with a big heavy crane on it, I believe there's also uh, an achievement for picking up a truck with a crane that's in water with a completely destroyed engine. So that would be an option with this one. I think this one counts as being water being in this one. That's it, find your load here. Let ourselves roll back a bit. There we go. Now if we had done this to start with very beginning, the last episode, we'd be on to a different task by now. The fleet style would be where I want it to be. And the Land Rover wouldn't be out in the woods, in the swamp, sorry. Risky journeys are not the way to go. Far right as I can. Be able to keep traction on the on the grass and the dirt rather than that mud. We may need to go to the top and then winch pull. Try and start up. Or we may be able to get up. No. It's because it's still broken as well. Wherever we put it, it's, it's not got very good ground clearance. Just oh no, not enough. Teased us, teased us. That one is in, right? We're pulling it up, by the way.
Now I think round the back of the warehouse down here there is a repair points replenishment uh, trigger so we'll, we'll have to bring the, uh, the landy this way and use that. Perhaps while I try and figure some stuff out, we'll grab the upgrade I haven't got, and we'll go and get the fisherman's boat. Boat? The fisherman's truck. We should be able to do that with the Land Rover. <laughs> if not, we can certainly do it with this. <laughs> Excuse me, to apologise. We have to try and come up that way with the, uh, the White West this time. That is a pain in the backside. But if we can try and do some things to bring the vehicles and trailers and that this way, it might make it easier. I mean, there's, there's no no law saying you have to hit repair the White West stuff down in the dirt. We can just drag its ass up as well, like we have this one. But you have to repair it before you get to keep it, because you have to repair it and deliver it. But the track for dragging it up is a lot harder. A lot harder. So without any help from its engines or its wheels, it'll be a fight. I don't know if I should, see as I'm driving along I'm trying to think whether we should bring the fleet star back to the garage and see if I can put some better tyres on it before I try and do anything with it. I just think it's going to get stuck. I'm really concerned with that. As, as much as I have faith with the fleet star, whenever I play with it on any other mode, I use it a lot on my streams. I just... I just don't want to keep getting stuck with it without it being tuned up to the nines. And because we're having to do things differently than my, my regular sort of way of doing it, we've not got the money or the level that I'd normally have because I'd normally sort of rip through and get a lot of stuff done. Well, there we are. That is our Trans Star. So we will oops, uh, stop our engine, jump in, and we are going to give it a full repair. If it just starts back, that might cost more to put two wheels on the Kodiak than it's going to cost a full recovery or a full repair on this. That's insane. That is insane. Right, there we go. So I might just leave it here for now. When we, If we take it out, we need to put some fuel around the back. Or have a truck available so we can put some fuel in it. Because it obviously it's got no fuel in when we, if we take it out now. Upgrades for it. 
we do have this, which might actually go in a better vehicle, so we don't do that. No gearbox, no suspension. Where's its race suspension? It's in Maine. That's a long way away. Tires, we'll just leave. Although, if we have a look, we've unlocked these tires now that would go on the Fleet Star down here. Um, winch is normal. Snorkel, not worried about. And it does, ha it does have a lot of add-on options, but it is just a road truck. So. Land Rover. Where are you? Let's go get the upgrade. It's a service trailer here. Did I bring that through? I've brought that through. Oh! I'd forgotten. I brought that through for that. Okay. Not to worry. We've got <laughs> extra repair parts. <clears throat> so if I can get the Fleet Star down, pick that up. We'll winch our way across there if we need to. We can pick that up, come around, repair that truck, and that'll be a job done. I can then... So I'll just leave that down here if need be. Or we can bring it up to the fixer rubber. It's a shame that that is out of the way now for the fixer rubber. Oh, I do annoy myself. I forget things so quick and so easily. Right, where's this upgrade? Over there, that's the car right now. Yeah. That is erased for the uh, Scout 800. Have we sold that? Have we sold that, I think. Did we sell it? I think we did. If we haven't yet, we will. Shit, we sold it. The first CK and that. We could probably sell the other CK as well. I think we've upgraded the Land Rover now that it should be okay in most conditions. I've just got to check on whether we have a, an autonomous winch on it. I think it's got an advanced winch, and I'm not sure if that counts as autonomous. Or it has the option for one if we haven't put it on yet. But we've done a thing. At least we've done a thing today. We've recovered a truck that we wanted to recover. So that's, 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 that's bonus in comparison to last time out. At this point, last time we were rolling over our P16. And I'm just concerned that I might end up rolling that fleet star. that happens and we are screwed. Probably not because I'll just have to pay recovery but then we're screwed as well because there's 16 grand we would have spent on covering vehicles. So let's actually set our task. Um, unlucky fishing. That's what we're going to do. We'll go get that. It's over there. You should be able to do it with the Land Rover. Shouldn't require a big truck to pull this out. In the past, I've always done it with the CK, so a tuned up CK, you pull out a CK.
nasty camber again. Try and control ourselves on our descent. Going up and down these hills, you just want to try and do it as straight as possible. Going in at an angle is never good. Can you on set? if I can try and pull it from the front. Hill to climb. Let's go. We've got the sun coming over. That's awesome. Indestructible twig nearly took us out. <laughs> If one of those indestructible tweets take us out, I will rage quit. <laughs> the branch with absolutely zero flex. angle to try and drive along. Again, we'll try and go up the right hand side, better traction.
I will. Have a bit of your fuel, mate. It's part payment, so it's 1800. Back up to 30 grand. 250 XP. Where are we at? Uh, we're halfway to level 9. So, next up, party people. Let's have a little look at the map. We're not doing that. Wreck an accident. Hungry workers. I think we'll take the Fleet Star. We'll try. Try and get down there for that. I think. And then we can repair the truck. that one. Oh, that's the Michigan Trail. I've got nothing else going on. Everything else is a delivery that we're not quite ready for. So let's jump. Let's just turn our engine off. Then we'll jump to the fleet start. Oh, again, it's tyres. Tyres has got me right Anxiety because I know this route is going to be tough. We're going to go back and get better tyres. But if we struggle up here, we're going to struggle in the swamp. I'm not even sure what we've got on here, but they're not good enough. I'm not sure what level it is you unlock chains. I'd love to get some chains on this. Because then I'd just be happier with it. Look at that hole. That's the hole we dug. No wonder we couldn't get a P16 out of it. It went in there. Like it bounced in the air. It just came down and landed in that hole. I'm not sure. It may have even just created the hole. I'm not sure if the hole was there already or not. Not good either way. Quite a few divots like that along this route. So I'm going to go low gear diff lock until it tells me to turn the diff off. High on this one. So that is quite a hole. Oh, you absolute swine. Oh, my good God. Oh, my good God. <laughs> oh, dear. How is it two days in a row? How can that be two days in a row? Distress. Right. Well, that's not getting out on its own, is it? Hey. We're just gonna spend just gonna be constantly recovering my own vehicles. That's what I'm going to be doing. Madness. Absolute bloody madness. <laughs> uh. yeah, once we're out here, we're not until if we need that trailer, we're going to buy another trailer. We are not going back down that route. Bad decision from the get-go. It's cost us two days of work. Oops, excuse me. Two days of work going down there. The stress is giving me indigestion. <laughs> I've got to try and negotiate my way down there with two big trucks, and we've already had this stuff down there. I'm not paying it. Oh, I pay to pay recover another truck two days in a row. That's two. There's two rolls. I can't have that be two recoveries.
And I was being careful and trying to take the, the slightly higher route so we didn't get stuck in the hole. It was the same camber that we used. Deliver that soon, that's nearly empty. At least that's a job we can do, we can recoup ourselves like a brand or something. <laughs> Not a lot. Hard move going for you, people. How are you fine today? It's a little bit stressful. Well, it's not even the, the most difficult bit. We've got the tight turn come around yet. I mean, having to go down here to recover, churning up the track again. Dare. Don't you dare. Ground, ground clearance was our issue there. could um, <laughs> roll over for me, that'd be great. <laughs> I want it roll over. Come on. Oh, no. Right. 
this horrible bit to do now. Use that as an anchor point just in case. There we go. Crikey, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Stress. This place Snow Runner is fun. <laughs> it is actually. I absolutely love this game. Absolutely love it. And that's why I like it though. It's one of the ga those games, it's, it's such a simple concept, yet it's so challenging at times. And so many different ways to tackle things. Now, I think I covered this early on in the, really, in the early episodes, but in case people can... Um, watch them or you're, you're new here this is your first time out or the first few when I first started playing it took me a long time to get used to and accept the fact that rolling trucks happens what I'm never going to get used to and accept the fact of is that it costs 8 grand for a recovery on hard mode yeah I used to, I used to hate it I used to hate not even but the series that weren't recorded or if I wasn't streaming, if I was just playing for myself and I rolled a truck, I was so angry with myself, so disappointed. But it's part of the game. It is what you do. You roll trucks. Now, for this Bowser to have 10... 10 I think it only needs like 100 litres, not 90 litres. Let's see what we can take out of it. Now, can we while we're here? I don't think you can. Can I attach that to this? If I can attach that to this, I'm going to have that done. And out of the way. We can't. If I winch it, again, I don't think it'll have to, to winch it in, but we'll see. Will that winch in for me? Does that count as delivered? It must do, because you winch in trucks, don't you? There we go, that'll do. Under two grand. It's done. It's out of the way. It's a contract complete or a task complete. Now, before I venture too far, let's go see if we can get the Pacific out in the dark. Turn and circle on this is good for really. this sort of manoeuvre, not nice. Not nice at all. if we can I'm not even sure what that is I'm latching onto there it might not be very strong but with a little anchor it might work it's that extra security when coming around it's all I'm after there we go we're good we're good Keep forgetting as well that the Pacific actually works better in auto than it does in low gear. It just wants all that run.
as I go past, we shall wait for the fleet start, turn it on. Just follow me back up to the garage. So it's doing double trips. We've <laughs> wasted enough time the last two days. I'm still hurt from that eight grand. I'm still, still, still hurt. <laughs> We're definitely going to be doing all the all the time challenges three times. <laughs> is my thing. We've got all terrains and chains at level 12. So a little, a little ways off yet. I think we go with the UODs. UOD 2? UOD 3. UOD 2. I think that'll be the best for us. And I, I know some, some people see it as uh, wasteful because I'm buying the tires every time they're available. But you've seen my skills. <laughs> we need all the help we can get. So, engine. We can't get a better engine until we get to Alaska. Expansion's raised. Winch. No expensive. So expensive for a winch. That's the spare wheel. We could put a pair parts. This is for a, a mod, obviously. We just have to have to pay for and fit it. Should we take some extra repair parts with us? I mean, we don't want to take that. Like this, it's not OP. It's only two hundred. Might stick that on there actually, rather than the wheel. Our snorkel is our snorkel. All wheel drive is there. Everything else. That is us. That's as good as she's going to get for a while then. I'm just going to have her out on the map though. She's not got a job right now. There you go, girl. Can't reach it from there. So... We... I need to do the fix up. I need another truck. The way things are going, I need another truck. I think we grab the service trailer from there. I need to go over there and do that. some fuel and the the land driller isn't too far away so we can bring some fuel with that and I can go and restock its repair points 
So if needs be, I can, like I said, repair the minimum. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that by mistake. So I'll cut the fuel all the way down. I want the fuel up here. For now. When we get some money, the uh, the Trans Star, we'll get a fuel trailer on the back, or a fuel tank on the back, and then uh, we'll use that for, for ferrying our fuel about. Need to be able to pull some of the big ones through. It's a big fuel trailer in Drummond and in Island Lake. I do need to go and collect the repair parts first, because even if I'm not... Ah. You know what, I will. I will take it down. I'll take it down. Let's go get it. It's not fanny about. Dilly dally fannying around. <laughs> it's not faffing, boy. Took that apex well there. If that was truck racing, that'd have been a good line. Beautiful line through the corner. How far round did I leave it? I think it's where the other trailer was, isn't it? That's why the other trailer is out in the middle of nowhere. Let's switch them over as we came back through.
How am I in this predicament? How am I in this bloody predicament? What was that all about? Hug the rocks. Over there, so it's not here, it is lurking in the dark. Right, let's turn around. The radius on the B-16 is uh, built upon the Earth's orbit of the Sun. It's the same sort of radius, and it is just insane. This big girl does not like circles. It's nearly bloody sunlight again. Well, at least we got a truck, and, and we rescued a, a truck for a, a task. So we got something done again today. So. And we rescued ourselves. Grab a little bit of fuel. On the Land Rover. Thank you very much. Anyone ever just got in and driven along the river right, to, to your destination? Just pull on snorkel it down there. I don't even know if you can. So we want to go. Let me just double check. 
No, I'm not here anyway. I won't go there. I need to cross the dam. I need to get rid of that trailer as well. It's going to cause havoc later on with larger deliveries. Yeah, what we want is over there in them trees that are sticking out. That's where we need to get to. Down on that little island. It's nearly seven. Actually, it's probably about the same time as when we started before, isn't it? Just trying to think if there's anything I can try and do a little prep work for. Because we've not got the time to go down there and fix that and do. Concrete slabs and service parts to the quarry. Concrete slabs from there and service parts are up there. I don't think we have any other service parts on the map. So that'll be a job for the fleet star. Now that it's back this way. And then this is going oh, service hub, Beach's house, and quarry. And we can get a lot of that from everywhere else. So again, that could be a fleet star job. Or we could share that out with the um, White Western once, we, once we've got it recovered and a few little uh, coolages and upgrades on it. But that is going to be it for today. I'll pause it here so that we can save the time. Hopefully you enjoyed that one. Again, another recovery. Not a full recovery, but we had to rescue ourselves anyway. But we, we've got a new truck. Not one that we're going to use much, but we've got a new truck. And we saved the fisherman's truck. So we did some good. It wasn't bad. Just not as progressive as we had hoped. But next time out, we will go and get ourselves a new truck. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, as always, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on. Find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. Have a little laugh at me. Why not? And hopefully I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye.